check this out. I'm in Austin, Texas with Olympus and uh, they just handed us over the brand new Olympus Pen F. This is the brand new Pen, the Pen F, from Olympus which mimics the old classic Pen F, uh, the old half frame film camera, which is what the original Pen basically was uh, going after, but this one is a true Pen F digital recreation. And the most exciting thing, there's tons of stuff on this camera that's pretty exciting, but the most exciting thing is this new knob here, which has, it says mono, color, art, or CRT, but mono right there is what's really exciting because you could slap this big hefty metal dial onto mono and you will have a, a monochromatic style image and it, you have settings in here you have one two or three presets first preset would be neutral second preset mimics something called tri-x um, and the third one is simulating an IR uh, film and you can tweak and control and change the grain and you can add grain but the grain is not a uniform grain it depends on the image you take on how that grain is spread throughout the image just like film so Olympus has somehow again stepped it up and after the last release from Olympus I said I really don't know what they can do to add to these cameras they're so cool as it is so now you have the monochromatic dial which you can it's not like the art filters it's so it's not like you're just throwing out an art filter it's an all new monochromatic mode and then you have a color mode here which simulates chrome film and there's three different presets there's a neutral there's a rich uh, slide type of preset and then there's a really vivid type of slide chrome and it's really cool and what you also have now on the pen that was missing from all other pens is the built-in EVF. It's the same EVF that's in the uh, EM10 Mark II. You also have a dedicated exposure compensation dial which is awesome because this is not usually on Olympus cameras. You have your big fat shutter button right here and you could throw in a manual old cable release which is really cool. You have all your camera modes as usual, your power button here. I have a 1718 mounted. Um, you have your video button here. This is a gorgeous camera. It looks retro, it looks vintage, it feels solid. It's wrapped in a premium leatherette style covering. And look at this, even the back LCD you can close off if you don't want to use the LCD, which I'm not going to be using it all day today but it's wrapped in the same leatherette covering. And you have little design touches here that are just pretty amazing, a cutout for your fingers to rest. Um, there's not one visible screw on the entire body. No screws. So to me, this is definitely the best pen Olympus has ever released. Is it up there with the Pro EM1? Maybe not because this is not weatherproof. Um, this is not uh, a DSLR shaped body, the L shaped body. Um, but what this is, is taking the pen to an entirely new level. Let's move over here. It sees better, better light over here. It's beautiful, especially in silver. You have down here your battery and your memory card that goes there and there's just so much customization of course you have the latest and greatest five axis image stabilization inside so meaning you could mount the 300 the new 300 millimeter f4 which is going to give you 600 equivalent focal length and you can shoot that hand held um, that's what's so cool uh, about the Olympus 5-axis. They're the originators, they're the inventors of the 5-axis technology and they implement it better than anyone. Um, so there you go and I'd like to say that App, or Olympus, I almost said Apple and there's a reason I almost said Apple. Olympus to me is like the Apple of the camera world. Nobody makes cameras like this. Not Fuji, not Sony, um, no one. No one makes them with this much thought, this much cool factor, and it just works. Um, Olympus cameras are quick to focus. This guy now also has a silent shutter option. 
uh, one sixteen thousandths of a second, uh, up to 20 frames per second. You can also use the mechanical shutter, which will give you 10 frames per second. This is a fast little camera, extremely well made. And the cool thing is it's going to be shipping um, in about a month, near the end of February, it will be shipping to everybody. This is a sweet, well-made, beautiful camera. And I'm going to go out with it for the next couple days and shoot um, and get some samples. But from what I've seen so far, um, it's your typical um, really good micro four-thirds quality, except Olympus this time went away from the 16 megapixel. And we're now at 20 megapixel in a micro four-thirds sensor. So I'm interested... It'll be interesting to see what the uh, lower light performance will be like. But uh, I'm excited to shoot this. I'm excited to use it. And I got to tell you, this is going to be we'll probably replace my uh, EM5 because this is just beautiful. And I love this mono dial right here. And the settings, I'll go into it in a video later on when I actually have one of these at home. But the settings you can control in the monochromatic mode are simply amazing. Think about it, like a, like a monochrome um, at like a fraction of the cost. Now, of course, this is not a Leica monochrome, but we're getting to that phase where camera manufacturers are concentrating more on monochromatic images. So it's very cool. So there's the first look from Steve Huff Photo at the Olympus Pen F, finally. Finally, a pen with a built-in viewfinder. I've been wanting this since the original EP1, and it's now here. It's taken a few years, but good things come to those who wait. Look for more of the Pen F on stephafoto.com, including coming up a full review after a bunch of first looks and sample images and reports. I'm going to go into full detail about this little bad boy because it's awesome. Thanks for watching. This is Steve, stevefoto.com. Always check back for news, reviews, daily inspirations, and all kinds of cool stuff. Everything photographic. See you there soon. Bye.